The last bleak kick of winter froze any euphoria left from Ukraine's successful defense of Kiev. The war is switching to the east. Both sides will learn lessons. The Russians left their armor vulnerable to drone artillery and fast-moving infantry with anti-tank weapons. You can see the results scattered across the roads and villages around the capital. This was a Russian supply column on the main highway that runs west from Kiev. The lorries were carrying ammunition. Artillery shells are scattered across the road. Russia will find logistics less challenging in the east, closer to its border. A few minutes further down the road in the village of Kalinivka were a few civilians, a rare sight, so we stopped. Irina Kostenko wanted to talk about the 10th of March, the day the Russians killed her only son, Oleksiy. The two lived here just 500 meters from his job, changing tires at a garage. Irina led the way to her son's bedroom, damaged by shelling weeks after he was killed. We were the first outsiders she'd seen since the Russians left on Friday, and the story of Alexei's death spilled out. The pain is so bad. Now I'm all alone. My son was young, 27 years old. He wanted to stay alive. Oleksiy was born when Irina was 18. Her life has not been easy, but she dreads the future without him. She said he'd served in the army, but that day he was going to work at the garage. After they killed her son, she fled and the Russian soldiers took over the house. And judging by the rubbish they left behind them, they were having a good time. Loads of bottles of vodka, Jack Daniels, Bell's whiskey, beer, you name it. It is hard to understand human behavior like this, but what makes it really tragic is that there are so many accounts of it happening where Russian soldiers have been and are now in Ukraine. On her own, Irina buried Alexei in the garden after she'd brought his body back from the road in a wheelbarrow. I covered the grave with a blanket to protect it from the dogs. He isn't in a coffin. I had to roll him in a carpet. Did you say to the Russians, why did you kill my son? They were in jeeps with guns. They killed him and fled. How can I talk to such morons? I want them dead. I want their children to lie like my son. Close to where Alexei was killed, opposite the house, Ukrainian troops were salvaging Russian ammunition to use it against them. They'll need it if Russia launches a spring offensive in the east. Five weeks of war, but it only takes a moment to destroy a family. <laughs> Irina found another picture of her son. This is my love, she said. My sweetheart. Jeremy Bowen, BBC News, outside Kiev. <laughs>